Hello YouTube, you asked for it. Here's another way to use our best dough ever recipe. Today we're making slider buns. Uh, on the slider buns, if you'll see on the right hand side, we actually use tinfoil rings to keep the dough rising up instead of spreading out. If we wouldn't have used the rings, the dough would have actually probably touched each other and you'd have had one big wad of dough. Um, these are cut tinfoil 12 inches, fold it down until it's about an inch tall, overlap it an inch. You want the actual ring 11 inches according to this slider bun pan. This is a uh, Wilton slider bun pan. Uh, all I did was divide the dough into 12 equal pieces, form it into balls, place the dough into the well of the slider bun, Take your hand and press it down as flat as you can get it. Then place the rings over it. I did spray the top of the dough and the rings with cooking spray. It keeps the rings from sticking and it also uh, makes it easy to take the rings off. And the dough will rise up uh, about every 30 minutes. I walk by it and push down on the rings a little bit to make sure they're staying down and not rising up as the dough comes up. This dough actually rose for about two to two and a half hours. As you see, the uh, lip on the slider bun pan just really isn't enough for what you would want with a, in my opinion, for a slider bun. If you have any questions about the recipe or how we did this, uh, leave them in the comments below. I do answer all questions. If you haven't joined the channel, do so. We're gonna have some more recipes coming out with the dough. This is the Pressured Prepper and I'm out.